Fresh. Like it's hot in this top. Jesus. Doesn't breathe very well. <laughs> Hacking out. All right. Okay. <laughs> nice job. You can't say I'm not jealous. Hey? This is absolutely Essendon. It's our round one review. No, very nice, very tidy little start to the year. The Dons winning by four goals, getting the job done. They kick 17 5 to the Hawks 11 17. That's right, the Dons kick straight. That's not a typo. Great day in front of goals. Well, yeah, it's good, good, good football, they say, isn't it? Kicking straight, that's good football. Yeah, well, it's so certainly... well done, uh, Bombers. It, they, has, uh, uh, it, has, uh, it has been lacking. I mean, yeah. of course, you could say the Hawks created more opportunities there, but hey, we'll, we'll, we'll come to that. It's just good to have that win away, Absolutely. especially with uh, both grand finalists losing their first two. That's true. It's, uh, it's anyone's it's, season. It's nice to put that away. You can only beat the competition well, in front of you, you know, as let's they see. Say. I think it's, uh, you know, it's early days, so let's not get too excited. But it was a particularly satisfying win after uh, welcoming back the 1984-85 Premiership team pre-game, um, doing the Around the Oval in uh, closed cars. What? What's with the cars? Well, I don't cars? know. I mean, there was a couple of the boys who were in open cars, and you could say, G'day, TD, g'day, right, right, Timmy. Right, right, right. Half of them went around inside Porsche 911. You couldn't see who was in the damn well, car. Well, well, what were they worried about? Snipers taking a hit on them? Probably. What are, what are, Dermot Brereton, maybe. <laughs> or at Dealey Plaza yes. all of a sudden. Hey, down hey, at the G. Back and to the left. Yes. Well, anyway, um, so it was great to see the uh, the, the veterans, the, the much-cherished yeah, veterans there, and uh, ah, Billy Duckworth. In the car, you know, he was the Norm Smith medalist, of yes. course, that year. So what it was a, great. And what, a, what a beautiful year it was! And to think that that was forty I years know. ago. That's very scary. And uh, that is so so scary. I was there, kids. Yep, you might be looking at us, going, "Geez, hey, I'll never be like these turkeys." Yeah, well, in I've a got blink a, of an eye, kids. The the hatred is still real. Um, <laughs> is I, it? Yep, I cannot stand that team. That right. That. Hawthorne team mm. and, and made worse by the presence of Jack Ginevan in their forward line. Yes. Um, yes. You know, that's not going to help uh, yeah. improve their standing with me at all. No, not at all. And, they're, they're, uh, they're just always pesky against yeah. us. They always uh, find something. That's why it's not an easy victory. So let's talk about the game. Um, Indeed. We, a lot of positives. It was a hot day at the MCG. It was. I think we peaked at about 30 degrees and uh, I was hot day there, sitting in the hot, shade and still managed top. to get burned. Oh, I noticed you're wearing the merch today. Well, only because I got, you know, the, the no collar. I mean, you've got to wear oh, a collar. Right, yeah, and they got me yeah. again. I had to go buy one. So I'm just trying to get extract value. I'm surprised but, it was only that that stopped you getting in. But... Uh, <laughs> What do you mean? Well, it was the Melbourne Cricket Club Reserve, I guess. Yeah, you're talking yeah, about. yeah. That's right. That's right. And I, I forget every time. And it was the first game of the year, and yeah. I just it was coming from somewhere so else. So you what? You just anyway. you peeled off your t-shirt? <laughs> yes, I did. In the middle of the MCC. Yes, I, I did a rant like you would oh, do, and a yeah, rant. They, they, they totally yes, they, they they totally ignored me. Went and overpaid for one of these, and mate, it I mean, it's hardly happened. a fashion statement. As much as I love the football club, I mean, a sports top versus your, you know. Valentino T-shirt. Well, not quite, mate. You know, I'm not a luxury been, goods man. Yeah. But um, but yeah, overpriced and uh, made in Vietnam, and they do not breathe. I'm not telling you, there's that. anything wrong with that. Sweating like a you know what and a you know where. Anyway, well, under these studio lights, uh, yes. it ain't gonna get better. So but I've got some water here if you start to expire at any point. Thank in time, you. So Thank you very much. Let's talk about Stringer. Four yeah, goals. Right. Well, hey? Jakey, is he? Coming up for a contract renewal? Or what? If you had to guess. I'd say yes is probably a good answer. Maybe they should put him on a week-to-week contract. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. So that he, he knows he's got to perform mm. every week. I think so. He was fantastic, particularly in the sense. first half when uh, we were looking a little scratchy, I thought, yeah. in the yeah. first half. And yeah. uh, you know, I think the boys were blowing out the cobwebs to a degree. And you know, I've not seen Zach Merritt fumble the ball so much as he did in the first quarter or so. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Um, Let him warm up. Yeah, no, but that's exactly yeah. what it was because he was mm. very, very good in the second half. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, Stringer came out firing and I think he ended up with four goals for the game. And he did. What a difference he makes when he's on side. Oh, my um, gosh. And uh, the, big, the big two-metre Peter yeah. banging them from about three miles out. Look, um, he, uh, you know, you, you cannot have a go at the guy. He's a very good kick for goal. Yeah, unbelievable. Very good. Unbelievable. Very good kick. He just has to get his hands on it. Yeah. That's all. I mean, accuracy um, outside of 50, I don't think there's anyone better so, than him in the competition, no, to be honest. No, and it just helped because while... While Kyle was having, you know, just a bit of a bit of a quiet time in yeah. the first half. Well, I wonder how many people were saying was last year a, 
a one-off for Kyle. You reckon they were jumping So in by half time, we were already riding him off. And uh, But then he came back in the second he half and uh, you yeah. know made his mark as well. So, he didn't work. so the forward line went pretty good, and I think they kicked 15 goals for the game. So, yes. um, oh, no, it was more than that, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. So, Especially so. when the week before in our last episode, we were talking a lot about the forward line. Yeah. Where are these goals going to come from? It was a delight. It was spread around. And even the Guelphy, who we've uh, yes. delighted in, yes. in character assassinating we for did. the last few months. We have. Kicked so the first one for us, I think. And happily had a couple, eat so. humble pie, yeah. yes. And, yeah, a couple of assists as well. And his pre- forward line pressure was fantastic. Amazing. Fantastic. Amazing. So we'll give credit when it's due. Absolutely. Yep. Guelphy. Well done, Great Guelphs. stuff. And yes. looking extraordinarily handsome as usual. So uh, yep. there's no, he, he has not aged a minute. Great head of hair. He has. Um, so then let's go on to... Another another person that we may have had a little yeah, I know bit of a where, swing I know at. where you're going. You know where I'm going. Yeah, I do. You know, because a couple of people were texting me going, geez, you guys didn't... Uh, didn't, didn't pick didn't that call, one. Yeah, didn't call this right. No, we didn't. It's not often Young we Archie get it wrong. Young Archie Perkins. Yeah. What a day um, he I had. Think, what a day. What a, what a brochure day that was. Well, I, I, from memory, it was at our last show where we... Or it might have been two shows ago, and I think yeah. I said, and so you're off the hook on this one, but um, I think I said he wouldn't be in my best 23. You did, and we all and we also said in that year of the recruits. Hey, let's all look at Zach Reed now. Yeah, we'll get to him in a moment yeah. um, as being the standout choice. But no, sure. no, no, Archie. Uh, I mean, he played very well in the corresponding game last year, also against Hawthorne. I think he got the three Brownlow votes that day. He will definitely get the three Brownlow votes again with a twenty-four possession game, two goals, nine clearances, and twelve tackles yeah. and that was about as close as a Dustin Martin type game that I've seen from mm. an Essendon player mm. in a long long time and I tell you if, if Archie can just keep that going oh, my god oh. you know what well, he, he's come of age and playing mm. him in the middle yeah uh, and I think last year to be fair his other great game was when he was playing in the middle on uh, Crips in the Carlton yeah, game true. so that's true so he's born to play in that that area of the ground and uh, he delivered big time Yes, he did indeed. Yeah. It was so beautiful to see, but the tackles, like the tackles, yeah, 12, they were just yeah. are great. Let's get on to our mm. recent recruits because they also, yeah. you've got to say, looking pretty good. I In think, particular, yeah. Mackay. Yeah, Mackay was great. I um, mean, he did what he had to do. I mean, it wasn't a stellar game. No, but it was but just you know, a, it was a, he was assured mm. in his Performance. He marked good, when he had to, and yeah. he. Uh, but some good intercept marks, which is what we did, you know, which yeah. is what we need, and that that saves goals. Yeah. So, you know, him, and then you know, you've got Gresham applying that pressure up in the forward line yeah. as well. Very crucial. Kicked goal a great goal in there the last in the, quarter there. Yep. Running out of the centre square that from was. about fifty out, more than fifty yeah. out from a Goldstein tap out. Yeah. It was beautiful. And it I, I think it was Perkins that actually handballed it to Gresham. And, yes, uh, yes. Uh, that was the, the, the goal that I think iced the game for us. At, and, uh, uh, at Dibble, because we got to 100 points. And yeah. you know that the first team that gets to 100 points only loses Statistically, 5% of the time. Is it that much, is it? Now, I thought it was if, even less. But if, any, if any team is going to test that, it's our beloved Bombers. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, you could... Uh, well, they might have been tested had it not been for that rather uh, tall-looking Cox... That was standing erect in the uh, in the back half of the Mate. field in the last quarter. I- I've never seen a cock stand up like that before, to be honest with you. I was expecting some more uh, cock gags. That was amazing what he did though. He, he was, was on Gunston. Good. The yes. ball was heading to Gunston. He turned his back, blocked it. He did. Yeah. I don't know how he did it because he couldn't see the ball. He was facing. He was facing Gunston. The ball's yep. flying over his head. Puts his hands up yep. at the. Preci- exactly the right time. Can I tell you that, yep. that the, the ability to predict that? Well, I, I mean, there was an hats element off. of luck, to be honest. But I think no, he, no, at least it, he knew what he was doing. He's like and, one of those uh, medieval seers, you know, those ones, that those blind guys that can just tell what's going on there. Because had he just their eyeballs in the back of their head, had heads he just touched Gunston with a fingertip, of course, it would have been a free kick. Mm. And uh, you know, I think they would have been uh, pressuring us. At that point yes. in time, and no, then, no. then we, uh, a lot not long after, or probably a few minutes later on, uh, he took a, a very sort of um, 
agile mark. He had to sort of twist and turn midair to grab the ball that was floating yeah. around in a nasty breeze that was blowing to the punt road end in yeah. that last quarter. So yeah. I thought that was probably his best game since coming back into the team towards yeah. the end of last year. Yeah. And I think it says that um, Nick Cox can be a defender for us. He can play in defence. And, you know, he still can roam up the ground. Uh, he's still a great kick on both sides of the body. So I thought that was really pleasing to see that. And I've got to say, the fact that uh, he showed something in defence is now taking yeah. on even greater meaning because Zach Reed, as we all know, uh, left the game before half time with a somewhat uh, strained hamstring. So tragic. Like, is he cursed or yeah. what? I want to call my auntie in. That um, oh, she's passed away now, but she would remove a good curse Which with a bit of water and a bit of oil. It uh, it takes care of anything. I, f- I feel like. W- well, well, if she was alive, I'd wheel her down there. Water and oil, oil, water and oil doesn't sound complicated. We could probably do that as no no but there's a whole chant oh, there's, there's a whole chant that goes with okay it, yeah, the chanting gotta, yeah, yes it is yeah yeah it's all complicated whatever it's he Sicilian needs stuff. it he he is the unluckiest footballer man. in the competition at the moment so look i don't think it's a bad hamstring i think from what they're saying it's a mild strain he's not ripped anything off a bone <clears throat> Uh, so hopefully he'll be back before long. I don't think we'll see him for a few weeks, but because uh, they'll be extra cautious with him given mm. his history. Yeah, but let's hope um, we can get him. Back. What a shame! And yeah. I think you know, given that there was a lot of anticipation Tragic. about him, oh, big time. So yeah, take take We're, it easy, Zach. Get better, please, and wax some ice. But mind you, at the end of the game, he didn't have any ice around his uh, his. Uh, Is that a good sign? Hammy? So well, I no? guess so. I don't know. Yeah. Don't they usually ice it up if it's. I don't know. Yes. So Zach okay. was Thanks, uh, unfortunate. But, yeah, yeah, I think uh, Nick Cox, just to get back to the point, was mm. uh, was pretty good. And I think he can mm. play down uh, that defensive half and, and be quite uh, capable in that role. So let's mm. see how he goes. You know which gag I thought you were going to go for? Yeah. It was Gunston Cox blocked. Yeah, I wouldn't have done that one. Oh, okay. that, that, that's hardly going to get a laugh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Gunston. Oh, fucking, doesn't stop you before. <laughs> yeah. If it's going to be shit, at least Mr. it's my shit. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Picky all, all right, of a sudden. Sorry. Gunston <laughs> cock blocked. Cox blocked. Oh, don't what worry. Don't know. let it go. I'll let the, view, I'll let let the viewers vote all right. on that one. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. So what we'll else have you go. got we'll for cut, us? We'll cut that out. So Now, Redmond. I want to talk about Redmond because I'm so wound up about this. Yeah. There's... They've accepted the one match ban. Uh, this like, football club. Like, do you want to start or shall I? Oh, you because go for it. Seriously. Uh, I, I don't know what if, to say. Would I just put it this way? The, the game, the theme of the game was stand your ground, just to begin with, mm-hmm. right? But do you think Collingwood would accept that just so easily and just go, oh, yeah, well, we'll take. Do you think the Blues would? No. They'd bring in some guru biomechanics guy from Norway, they'd fly him in. A lawyer? You know, yes. Spe- yes, special QC with a beautiful wig. They'd wheel a whole team of people in. Yeah. I don't know why. Why do we just go, no, no, please. Well, yeah. you know, Is one enough? Would you, you like two or three? You've nailed it. This whole stand your ground malarkey that the football club's running with. You know, uh, uh, some people have probably seen this, you know, 40 years and this time you, the supporters, stood your ground. I mean, as if we haven't. We've put up with so much shit from this football club for such a long time. The least we can ask for, right, is with one of our players gets really unreasonably rubbed out for a weekend. I mean, that was so soft. Do something. Just do something, you know. Make a couple of calls. Get a QC in, KC or whatever it is. Get them down there. Why are we bending the knee and, you know, pulling our hair back down on our knees in front of the AFL as they collectively drop their pants in front of us? Mm. Why are we doing that? What's with the inferiority complex? Just fight Essendon. And, you know, I think they're still nervous because of the drug saga or whatever it is, but they don't want to upset anyone down at AFL House, but that's just ridiculous. I mean, we're going to be without Ridley, Reed. And now Redmond, the three oh. R's as we know them, uh, against Sydney this coming week. And, <laughs> and you know, boy, do we need them. It's just not good enough. No, I'm just at least try to get the guy off the hook. But yeah. no, no, no. In fact, I'm sure they probably said, look, give him two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because he's been a naughty boy. Yeah, he really has. Yeah. 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 Anyway, so Redmond, nice. uh, I mean, look, you, some can argue he's a bit stupid for what he did, but you know yeah. what? I don't mind players showing a bit of uh, bit of aggro out on Wasn't the field. Wasn't there a recent precedent where the guy, you know, got off? There was that guy, on. Hewitt from Carlton. Yeah. Did a similar well, thing. Carlton. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah. Who, yeah. Who, yeah. who wants Carlton in the finals this year, mm. hey? Yeah. Mm. And uh, so, anyway, so Redmond uh, will be watching from the sidelines. I don't know. It's going to you know, make for interesting selections this week. 
week yeah. against Sydney. Uh, yeah. There's a few players that we They easily to. took care of the pies, and we've got to go yep. up to the SCG. I hate that ground. It's the yep. size of a postage stamp. It, it's, you just can't. It's yep. just so tight, playing in a phone box. Well, it, it is like that, isn't it? And maybe, funnily enough, it may not be such a big issue that we've lost Reed because I think in that smaller ground, you don't want too many tools down the back there. Right. But losing Redmond is going to make a difference because his pace is, yeah. is obviously important. Yes. So that uh, that's going to uh, raise some questions about selection. And I think uh, we might be looking at Draper coming back into the side uh, next oh, week. Oh, really? I think he's every chance. And that then brings into question the future of Harry Jones. Yeah. Because I've got to say, as much as I'm a fan of young Harrison, yeah. uh, he was minus one point on the uh, fantasy points at half time. Was he? And the two subs that hadn't even played were doing better than he was. So <laughs> Is that a gag? Or no, that no, that's true? actually true. Oh, right, he was okay. minus one. I don't know one. how that all works. Yeah. Right, okay. Oh, he must have had a clangor or something to get the negative points. So right, okay. that was his only score, his only you know, eight, uh, fantasy point score was a clangor. Right. So, you know, he, look, I think he's trying. And I, and I think Harrison Jones still has quite a lot to offer. But yeah. he's just a player without confidence. And, you know, he got to the ball a few times. He mm. couldn't hold the marks. You know, if he just held a couple of those yeah. marks, I think yeah. we would have all been thinking otherwise. But I personally would like him to stay in the side. I think give him at least three or four weeks. Is that what Scott's doing? I, I think don't that's know. What he's doing. I hope yeah. he does because we gave bloody Wiedemann 14 weeks <laughs> last year. So surely surely if the weed gets 14, Harry <laughs> Jones, who is the future, let's be honest, he's a young player. Yeah, uh, yeah he, fair he point. He deserves two or three weeks. Fair so, point, fair yeah. point. Now, you know what I was intrigued about? Do you know who the top position gatherer was for the Hawks? That little rat. <laughs> no, do you not... Do you not call that, him Dan Brosio? I know 30, who you mean. Thirty-three possession. You don't call him a rat. Why? We asked him to leave because he was almost in our we, Italian Hall of Fame yeah. last year, and he just, he just missed out by. Yeah, he's out with all him because we decided to let him go. Well, I he, thought he requested a trade. It wasn't like we said, "Hey, we don't fancy you." You know, off your hop. Are you sure about yeah, that? Yeah, no, he requested the trade. Wasn't happy with the dom. I have no idea why. He apparently felt he should have been getting more game time. I'm not sure a well, guy that picked up. I can see why. Jeez. Yeah, well, probably, I mean, yeah. kid might have had a point. Well, he, he, he played very well. But, you know, let's be honest, that was you know, his response to his old club. He might be shit next week. Uh, but uh, oh, you're I, he got a lot of the ball. Harsh. He got a lot of the ball. I'm not sure he did any real damage with it. So. Oh, that. No, you're just, no, now you're, now you're being, now you're being, a lot of, you're being a little kicks bit off the half back line. Yeah, for, well, you're just little chips, you think, that didn't. Unlike our uh, yeah. Andy McGrath, who I thought was oh, fantastic with yeah, his little yeah. chips. He's copped a lot of flack of late. Yeah, unfairly. Most and of it he's, he's become the whipping nah, boy. And uh, I think uh, the whipping boy. And I think he deserves a little more credit. He had over 600 metres gained, and he was kicking the ball with a lot more penetration. Um, he was really you mm. know, creating off that back line. Now, yeah. Andy's yeah. problem is that he does have some moments where you know, yeah. it's yeah. pretty horrible. Sure. And he turned the ball over a couple of times. Got to take and, the good with yeah. the bad. But I thought his game was actually very good. Is and he net positive? Yes. No, absolutely. Absolutely. He would have been, he was in my best players. And I actually think Dyson Heppel played pretty well too. Mm. Uh, so those, those guys all stood up. They did. Yeah. But uh, coming did. up against the Swans, you know, we know we're up for a pretty tough game yeah. uh, up there. And, yeah, it'd be interesting to see if even Hobbs gets a selection. Love to see Hobbs go up there. Yeah. I, I, I don't know what the issue is <clears> with him, why he does it. It's going to be hard because, to be fair, Parrish may be back. Oh, no, and, not that again. Oh, Jesus. It's anyway. Be, it's become an episode well, party trick. <laughs> Get it down. <laughs> What well, is I think, going I think, on? I think you've got it on the, the power supply. Maybe uh, we just don't have just, it plugged just in. Just go. Get, 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 oh, yeah, yeah, let, yeah, okay, yeah, that's not the button. Hey. All right, hey. All right very good. All right. Uh, no, good Parrish is coming Lord. back into the team probably. I guess he's coming back. I don't know. Yes. Um, so, you know, it's one, I don't know where the Hobbs will it's make it. It's an embarrassment of riches now. In the well, and, you know, and Caldwell's very good. Perkins was great. Durham, I yes. thought, was really impressive yep. yes. uh, as a hard player. And the other one that needs to be given some credit is Setterfield. Yes, uh, who I also thought had a great game. So that yeah. that midfield of uh, Perkins, Setterfield, Durham, and Caldwell, and obviously Merritt as well. Mm. But those those first four names did a fantastic job. And you you think you've got Shield and Parrish and Hobbs okay. still to come Ooh, into waiting sight. in the wings. And whilst we're mentioning almost every player on the list, <laughs> right? Uh, let's not forget 
Elijah Martin. Sartis. <laughs> okay. No, Martin was shit, actually. I, I thought Martin had a pretty poor game. But I thought Sartis was the right. difference coming on in the second half. Yeah, he was okay. fantastic. Yes. Very excited to see him play, and uh, I, I hope to see him go on and, and do more. Indeed. So yeah. we've got an exciting round two game ahead. Yes, we have. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we it's, will. It's uh, a bit of trepidation. We're You're heading up some, to uh, uh, the Sin City? Uh, no, no, I won't be. No? No. I'll just, uh, I just thought with your new top there, you'd want to be parading just, that around. Just to get extra, even more value. Yeah. Just, uh, well, we, where's it go now? No, Back man, into the I'm wardrobe? telling you, it doesn't breathe. Yeah, it's not it's meant to problem. breathe. No, mate, yeah. I wouldn't want to go anywhere near an open flame. <laughs> yeah. Well, they want it to get so sweaty that you get rid of it after three months and right. buy a new one, yeah. right? Okay. It's well, a built-in redundancy that system. Is an it's like, a, it's like the Apple iPhone. <laughs> um, it is. That, that strategy will work. All right. Did, did we you, cover did everything off our, our list today? I our, don't know. Uh, did we? Uh, we talked about that. We talked well, about we did, this. You know, uh, yeah, we yeah, that. The, uh, King Kyle. We, we, we talked about Kyle, his contribution. Kyle, yeah, he did well. Uh, got yes, three I think we covered that. But uh, all in all, you have know, we I got we'll um, Have we got a best player? Do we want to do best players? Uh, no. Okay, fine. No. Well, I'm going to say so. my no. best. I'm going to oh, go Perkins for the three votes. Oh, are you? McGrath for the two. Is that right? And I'm going to uh, I'm going to slip Stringer in for the oh, for the really? one vote. So Is there's right? my three. Votes. Okay. All no, right. I don't know if you want to have a crack at that. No. No. Um, All right. No, I think we've covered it enough, and uh, fair enough. No one really. Cares. Well, let's not waste anyone's okay. time. No. Let's I think not. A, a Thanks good, again. A quick show is a good show. It is. That's right. So, guys. All Thank, the best. Thanks Great again for watching. Week. Let's see if we can uh, replicate that against the Swannies and uh, get off to a two and zip start. That oh. might see us up near the top of the ladder. That'd be nice. Wouldn't it? Because the rest of the uh, sort of first six weeks or so is going to be pretty tough. Yes, I know. We have said that. Yep. But let's see. Let's All see. Right. All right. That's Thanks enough. for watching. Go see Bombers. Bye now. See ya. Bye-bye.